when teachers do not intellectually prepare for their lessons, they can display the following traits. Frustrated, an unprepared feeling, stressed or overwhelmed, perhaps a bit of all of them. In a classroom, you may find a teacher who hasn't prepared well may read off the board. Cromwell believed in the Protestant faith, where that is, in such a strict way that he was known as a something. Right, so does anyone not understand the task? <laughs> Frantically trying to help students who may be constantly getting stuck. Right, so you've all understood the task and you've got 40 seconds to get that job. Right! Not enough time given to students to learn due to excessive teacher talk. So does anyone have any questions about today's lesson? Yes. Sir, was Oliver Cromwell the King of England? Unintentionally reinforcing misconceptions. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Poor That's differentiation good. Good. for the different groups of learners. Yeah, all very good. Why haven't you done anything? Not have learned less. Get on with it, would you? Not have learned less. That's the entire class still in developing. I've got no idea what's going on. I'm teaching you such well good histories and you don't understand it. It's not my fault you don't know that Cromwell was king. And all of these results in students not making their desired progress. On the other hand, a teacher who intellectually prepares will have the following behaviour displayed in their classroom. You've got 30 seconds when I say go. Remember we'll be shaping our response without cumbering for stuff and projecting our voice. Good pace doesn't talk more than they need to. Turn talks past the actually 10 seconds, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear lesson introduction with carefully explained tier two and tier three vocabularies. One snap. What is KO3 in your DPR? KO3 in my DPR is I can explain the differences between social, economic and envir environmental impacts on ge geographical phenomena. Great, so the main part of that is going to be geographical phenomena. That's what we're going to be focusing on in today's lesson. And your memory recall start is going to assess Memory K07, so everything to do with the human landscape. I want you to really try and use your keywords when you're tackling Memory K07. Be able to tackle misconception head on, because they would have done the research on the most common errors associated with what they are teaching. Always checks for understanding, so that the next part of the lesson is prepared for. For example, a teacher will have ample time for independent practice for students to consolidate and demonstrate their learning, leading to a teacher having plenty of time to assess learning through live marking. This would naturally lead to having a highly accurate assessment of students' learning, including updating DPR judgments. The highly accurate assessment is pertinent for further interventions which may follow. And finally, all of this culminates to students ending up doing lots of quality work that stretches them and they make great progress as a result. Intellectual preparation is our professional duty. We must intellectually prepare in order to deliver excellent lessons. Oh, it's another day done. Oh, my little rat bags. What's that?